Hey guys, welcome to my channel or back to my channel if you just so happen to ever watch one of my videos. Anyways, so today I'm gonna attempt to make a face mask. And this isn't the first time I've tried to attempt to do this. I did complete one. It took me probably five plus hours over the span of two days. Just one day I got so frustrated I had to quit and it ruined my mood for the rest of the day. So let's hope that doesn't happen today. And I wouldn't say I'm new to sewing. Like I've been sewing for probably two, three years now. And like I've made lots of things before. Ever since the pandemic, I've been meaning to make more like face masks. I bought like, I went crazy one point in time, bought a ton of fabric, but that was probably f four months ago and I still haven't used any of it. So today I'm gonna try to make face mask. Like I said, I tried this once already. I'm not kidding you. It was probably the most painful experience of my life. Today I'm gonna follow along with a video. This video is called and I'll link it. Hi everyone, today we're No fog glasses wearer face mask. 3D face mask sewing tutorial. So it is about eight minutes long. And you would think maybe it only took me eight minutes to make face mask. I'm hoping I can get this done in an hour. That's the true test. No, I don't know. I don't know. This is the first one I made. You know, it looks like this. It's pretty big. Honestly, this gives me Harry the Platypus vibes. Anyone else? Okay, first thing I have to do is take two pieces of fabric and cut out 19 centimeters by 26 centimeters. So that's what I'm gonna do first. Okay, now we're folding and folding and folding. Right sides together, your part that looks like that has the pattern on it. We're putting them together. Then we're folding and we're folding. All right, now we're going to mark the middle and we have to cut a curve in the middle part that's gonna be for like the nose. Kind of makes it like that. See, I did a really bad job the first time and I'm gonna do better this time. So it just kind of makes it like a nose piece. So that's what we're working on right now. Now for the fun part, we get to finally sew. So now we're gonna sew that little curve that I drew on. This is exciting, we're going places. This is also where it gets messy, so. Let's hope that I can do this. So, I already messed up. And this is why I don't claim myself as a sewing channel, because you must follow instructions very closely. And what did I do? Not that. So, I was supposed to start over here, and then sew the curve. I just started in the corner. And that's just silly of me. So now you get to take your, um, this thing, I always forget the name, thread picker. Then you get to go through and you get to take out all the thread. So I'll be right back. Got that done. And I also want to point out how important it is to match up your sides. And literally, I don't see a whole lot of videos doing this. Maybe because they're like experts and I'm not. But you want to make sure that you take your pins you lock that fabric in place. This is important because if you're sewing and you start moving the thread around, then everything's gonna start getting out of whack and then you're gonna get frustrated later on and want to hit your head. My sewing teacher would be so proud right now. So, shout out Miss Limbaugh. Anyways, back to sewing. So first step complete, we got it sewed. Same part on the bottom now, just like without the curve. Next step is to cut around like the eye, take away the extra fabric. Also pro tip on this one, never cut too close to that thread line. Let me tell you now, you don't wanna do that because sometimes it comes back to bite you and then you'll have a thread out or something. It's just not good, just don't do it okay. We're gonna take this and we're gonna top stitch along the top. So what top stitch means for you not sewing gurus, you're gonna take it along that seam 
and you're just gonna sew it. This is what top stitching is. That part, you see that part? So that way everything like lays flat and looks pretty. Okay, very important step. You're gonna wanna iron this so that way everything turns out pretty and flat. This is the part that you're gonna wanna skip out on. But trust me, don't skip this part. Iron it flat before you use top stitch. Very important. In the tutorial, she's gonna have us fold our mask in half so that it kinda looks like a little burrito. And that's what gives it that sectioned off square part in the middle. We're gonna sew that part first and then we'll sew around the edges. Get to go all the way around and i'm gonna do a tight stitch around the top too all right top stitched all the way around top and bottom like i said not gonna be perfect i did pretty good but this is just you know the reality of it all there's the point and it's just kind of weird but i don't know also, I just want to say, like, with sewing, it is all about measurements and getting things, um, how long they're supposed to be, but, like, it doesn't have to be perfect. Like, who are you trying to impress, honestly? So, keep that in mind. I'm just saying that so when it turns out like crap, you won't judge me. One of the next hardest parts of this whole tutorial is the folding part. I have to fold these corners into like an in shape so that way it kind of does this. That's what makes it pop up on your nose. And this is the hardest part. Okay, next step, and this is one of the last steps. So now that you have like everything folded in how it's supposed to be, like here's your mask. She wants you to fold the sides in and that makes the little round part that your elastic's gonna go through for your ear hoops, which is this part. Well, I learned my lesson. I couldn't get the elastic to go through like to save my life. This is the part that probably took me three out of the five hours. I tried so hard to string it through, so hard with all my might. After I'd already sewed this a couple times, I had to unstitch it and then put the elastic already in it and then sew it. So that way you don't have to worry about pushing through the sides to add your elastic. So I'm gonna cut out 23 inches. She says 23, I might do like 24. Just be safe for like tying. That way you don't, you know, tie too much. I'm going to put it in the corners and then tie it, like fold it up and then sew. So that's the next part. Okay, I know I keep saying every part's the hardest part, but this part right here is actually the hardest part. You have to fold the sides. Okay, you see my elastics in there, I'm folding the sides. Now, if you have like a normal at-home sewing machine like most people do, you have to go through like four layers of fabric right here. And I usually end up kind of pushing this through my sewing machine hand, like wheel, do like the hand wheel all the way, just so that way I can get a good like stitch. Cause it won't push it through if you have too much fabric and it won't always want to go through because it's weak. So wish me luck. <laughs> Guys, this is going a little too smoothly. Now I need to just tie the ends. Mask reveal time. I'm honestly super happy with how it turned out. The great thing with like these that have the middle section it really doesn't bother your nose it sits tight to your nose and honestly i did a better job on this one i guess it's not too close to like my mouth where i feel like something's like bothering my mouth this is how it turned out I definitely plan on using this one. I don't know about my Perry the Platypus one and it's super cute with bandana, but you could literally get whatever fabric you wanted and try this at home yourself. If you have a sewing machine, it wouldn't be that hard to do. It literally took me an hour this time. That's improvement. You can never have enough masks. I think that's what we've all learned. Reusable, throw it in the wash, use it a couple days later. I hope you liked watching this video. I hope you like the end product. 
I had a lot of fun. I wasn't as frustrated as I usually am sewing, so that was good. Let me know in the comments if you want me to do more sewing videos. Maybe try a different mask tutorial, or let me know if you want me to sew something different next. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to follow, like, subscribe, tell your friends, share. Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye.